All right, Dark Lincoln, uh, Blue, y'all ready for another one? <clears throat> Here we go. All right, let's do this. I ain't reading that shit. Skip to end. Skip to end. Play alone. No story. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do forgiving. I'm not. I haven't played this shit in forever. Hey, yo, Dark Link, I got a funny one for you. I got a 100% platinum trophy in a game called Drunken Bar Fight. <laughs> Someone like me would get a trophy in that. I'm an achievement hunter in Drunken Bar Fight. <laughs> I got the Oculus Quest 2. It's in here. I'm going to uh, start playing that. Mm -hmm. Best part is I can stream anywhere wireless. Just need Wi-Fi. My phone's a mobile hotspot. I got some pretty decent games on it. I might, I might play a game Beat Saber. I see a lot of streamers play that. Hey, no fair, I just chugged mine. We All could drink right, one together. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. I don't know about Geisha girls, but I can help her with the white face. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? Gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Uh, will I be rich? So, uh, when am I gonna hit the jackpot? You know, uh, all that glitz and glamour. Bamboo or dragon? I'm gonna go with dragon. <coughs> Looks like a fish? <laughs> Doom? Wait, what? Put some subtitles on. Cause I had no idea what the fuck that dude just said. What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud. Okay, why ain't the subtitles turn on?
controls, camera aiming, aiming. <laughs> there we go. We get to go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? There we go. Fine, sure. Let me know the quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. All right. Some some light jabbing. Oh. 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 Oh damn, I fucked up. Have a nice day. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Cutscene play. We got punched out over two quarters. All right, Darkling, this is where it starts getting spooky. You know these games start off slow as hell. Well, you came back just in time. I had the burning one. I'm for the drink one.
Two pops come back soon. Let's do this little quick exploration. Well, hell? he did. Yeah, he nice and did. Wonder where his other eyeball is. No, not that. The door, the door, the door, the door, the door. out of here already what the hell is going on up there I heard aircraft and gunfire me too and there was a a corpse what in the sick bay something's wrong let's get out of here I mean, if I fail this, he's not going to do nothing. He wouldn't have done anything anyway. He just looked at me stupid and just ran. Sorry, checking out my phone. These damn. Uh, what's it called? OnlyFans models on my Snapchat. Always be sending me some weird shit. God damn. Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time That's I the face you make when you nut and she keep on fit. sucking. <laughs> some Some bad chick. Took his soul, snatched his soul. My boy's stuck. Just like that to get the best hit of his life. Hold up. She put him in the potato position. Ooh. Well, let me stop before I get banned off Twitch.
Damn, bro, don't leave me. Homeboy spread out. Damn, homeboy in the missionary position. Charlie, get over here. Huh, he, he, I heard that giggle in his voice. Uh, other homeboy leaned back. Damn, they all got their soul snatched. Somebody going around the ship giving these soldiers blowjobs. Hopefully it ain't the underage boy. <laughs> that would not look good. Here she go again with these damn OnlyFans, this OnlyFans shit. About to hit that block button. Oh God, no, Charlie! me after I busted the hell of a nut. They really blacked out him falling out of the boat and he hit the life raft. They really blacked that out. They play my theme song again.
give me another Delta 8 cigarette. The creator. Hello. And welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, <coughs> after all, inevitable. It is well, the, the first one line, pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Alright, this is where it gets kind of boring, but I should get through this relatively quick. Alright, Dark Link, prepare to be bored for at least 20 minutes. Got to introduce all the characters. Joe Budden looking motherfucker. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. <laughs> so, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Insecure, resentful, I'm gonna say it's embarrassed. Oh, I'm gonna say nothing. Well, anyway. Let's get this all loaded up. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Well, bro. 
Be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, I'm gonna say I was invited. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little <gasps> snappy. I'm just... <laughs> The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. I'm gonna say it must be tough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. <gasps> huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, <coughs> I guess I keep <coughs> in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Nikolai's Delta 8 is hitting. Whew. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go if you're good or give it some thought. I'm gonna say give it some thought. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Oh, fuck me. I fucked up the bearing. Hey! Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! <laughs> feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Oh my god, he's fucking. I'm about to delete somebody from my Snapchat. I'm gonna say, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> Tight. See, damn Snapchat I models. I mean, not Snapchat. These OnlyFans models on Snapchat just keep blowing me up. <laughs> <laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your shit. It's Jim. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Be honest and say never. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. We're gonna be gentle. Uh, that sounded hella suspect. <laughs> 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 Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? There go Fliss. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh So is everybody on board and ready to go? Said, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. 
Yeah, homeboy seasick. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Optimistic. Brad did his homework. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. She got I'm some DSLs, go dick sucking lips. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? I'm not going to be annoyed. Who cares? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Almost got the gear good to go. All right, let's do some exploring. I say, need a hand, I can say thanks for paying. Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. I'm gonna say play it cool for now. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just she's sitting right there like she don't hear her. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. All right. I think one of those pictures that the curator is talking about is here. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Kind of like them totems that were in Until Dawn. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys got to respect that. I'm going to say sorry about earlier. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Self-assured. Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but 
you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Uh, I'm not gonna bribe her. I'm gonna say who's gonna know. Come on. You see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. This doesn't look kosher. I think that's one of them pictures. Huh. What am I looking at here? Yep, there goes one of them pictures. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Don't worry, you should know better. Do sympathetic. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to script the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. That's gonna come in handy later. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Dude, tanks are ready when you are. All right, I'm coming up. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces <coughs> decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Appreciative. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. <coughs> Looking for a first. <coughs> take, take. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. <coughs> <coughs> All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. <laughs> you have to use one? On a shark? Time to go down. More or less. Too bad Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir 
would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That sheep. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command? No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Uh, I'm gonna say sure, why not? Sure, why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? The long story. It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. Resentful. I built this business from scratch. I took out a loan on my boat and that's all the help I need. Thanks. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. All right, let's see what I got to look for. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. I'm gonna say, hey, it's your vacation. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Say, what do you know? What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. How'd you figure it out? So, how did you figure it out? Everyone was just looking at where the plane was headed. But I asked myself, where was the plane from? You know, where was that airbase? So I made some guesses based on that hypothetical return flight and I guess I guessed good. I'm say interested. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. There's another one of those pictures. Why do I keep these around? I'll explain that one later. So let's just say it involves a choice I'm not do gonna do. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Too bad charm isn't among Too them. Too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense.
You need to mind the speed limit. You need to mind the speed limit, Buster. Hey, I like life in the slow lane, too. Nice and slow. I'll see you later, Conrad. I hope so. Weather looks clear. Duke of Milan, 20 miles north of the coast, over. Reading you. How can we help? Over. Uh, do not alert the military. Looking for a weather report in my area? Over. Got a severe front heading into your vicinity from northwest. Thunder, lightning, 21 knot winds. Keep an eye on that. We'll check you in the AM rounds. Over. I'm gonna say thanks. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow then. Over. Well, hello there, Captain. Can I do something for you? I can think of a few things. Oh, do tell. Mm, maybe later, if you stay on my good side. Only I can remember what to do. Hey, Fliss. Look, there's a boat. What's that about? Yeah, that's that not is the coast, not the though. Coast Guard, so we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Be quiet. Let me handle it. Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Well, we got divers in the water. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Conrad's an asshole. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with well, you. Do Here. remind me of Devo from Friday. Well, that's spooky. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. That was close. Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first? Can I just take a second to say, 
Holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go! That was glowing. Let me get that. Oh. Another picture. No, 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 no. Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? No, I'm going in there. There's another picture in there. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. something stupid down here that's it one chance you get that all right i got the picture i'm gonna say i was fine chill out i'm fine see no problemo this says it was a rescue plane launched from a u.s base okay so it wasn't a picture but there was a picture and I must have missed it. Way to help out a ship. They didn't give me a button to push. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Good question. They knew they were goners. Uh. 
Uh, you hear that? <clears throat> yeah, let's do that. I don't know what that has to do with lemons. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Shark, not interested in us. Let's go. Okay, the shark's a shark to me. Hold on. <coughs> uh, oh, okay. I, uh. What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I. I. Wanted to bring something up with you, but it's it's not the best time. So you had something to raise me oh, with? Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. So you seriously, what's going on? Hey, seriously, what's going on? Nothing. Yeah, but you're freaking me out. Just. Get it. I shouldn't have said anything. Come on. We've really got to get up top. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where's that other boat come from? Wait. Julia. We got to decompress here. Whoa. Damn. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Yes, it is interesting. I'm definitely gonna decompress. There's a reason why. She can yeah, die. Okay. Decompress, right. Reluctant, this is too- oh. oh god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Uh, what's with the other boat? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. Oh yeah, the curator. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, 
a bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. No, I'm not in the stream yet. Nope. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to Special make some decisions unlocked. they'll value later on. You're doing well. I am going to take a short break, though, so I'll be right back. Can we put it into intermission? Yeah, I'm not going to end the stream, way. Dark Link, because this is where it's going to start getting Brown. really interesting. Insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for Good him. old Delta 8. Ugh. Something is up. Alex, you're like an open book with a 50-point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. bullshit. You're like Monsignor Mopington over here. Julia, are you happy? I must say, well, yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future. You know? What's next? Wondering the same. I'll be honest. Lately, I've been wondering about the same thing. Where do we go from here? Say relax. Look, when we get home, we can talk about some stuff, but relax. I mean, it's not like we're breaking up. It's just some stuff we gotta deal with. Okay. Yeah. Stuff. Got it. I'm gonna go find Brad. And yep, she got a nice little Fliss. ass on her. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna say the Coast Guards are here. Coast Guards! What? Everybody flush their meth! We gotta get rid of all this meth! Let <laughs> them take us alive! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Literally. Seriously, you can't fuck around like that, Julia. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. 
Conrad trying to hit that. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Seem kind of preoccupied. Nah, no, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. So, we're going again tomorrow? Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Uh, I'm gonna go find the engine. Alright, got that. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Right here. Come here, you vixen. Oh yeah. Easy, Tiger. Get me banned from Twitch. No, I actually don't do that. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You yeah, there's a reason why I didn't, uh... It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You... There's a reason why I didn't bum rush to the surface when we saw the fire, because, uh... She would have caught the bends from drinking that beer. Anything else? First I found this flight plan in a tube... And, and died at the very end of the game. This was a rescue like when I played it. Like, I literally saved everyone and she dies at the end of the game during the cutscene for drinking a fucking beer. Base near here, and the whole thing was full of life rafts, you know? But one of them was missing, which was kind of weird. After the war, they refitted long-range bombers to be rescue planes. And very resourceful. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on, we've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Nobody knows and say, okay, maybe. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Mm. Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine. I think I got my vent on open in the here. background, blowing all the, the smoke lighthouse out. lighthouse stood atop an atoll isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, <coughs> sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. One track mine. He of the one track mind. The woman answers. I live here. I don't know about you. My parents are upstairs right now. 
twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You should embellish the facts. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet, says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then Whoa. his eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> So ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Cool story. You have me going. It's pretty cool. I think he told it better last time. But good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Let's check that. Oh, shit. Ungag, ungag. Okay. 
I think so. These are kind of, maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. No. Uh. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. I want to get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. Untie. Guys, we got to get untied. Take that, bitch. I'll be back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Yeah. You're the little lady. Please just stop. Please. Just stop, man. We finish with him later. Be on your best behavior, little man. Say okay. Yeah, she does. Did you see my brother? No, but I'm sure he's fine. No. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay. They're coming. Fuck! Motherfuckers! 
Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Was definitely picking up. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Dude, these fuckers need to pay. These fuckers need to pay. We gotta take them down. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during. We the won't be escaping uh, with Conrad. I climb out the window. Climb around the side and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. Grab a knife, do not escape. Drop it, Buster. Conrad! Easy. Conrad would have died just now if he tried to Twist. escape. I got this. Or if but I did the mini game, game, he would have survived and left everybody. about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, Orson. I'm not gonna escape. <laughs> Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bon de con. C'est mon bateau. Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? Boom, he got the strap. <laughs> Why Conrad like he busting the nut? Hey, Conrad. 
You gave it your best shot. All right. Shut the fuck up. Why is that dude bleeding? I've been wanting to ask that for the longest. There's no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just going to say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her. I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. That's what I thought at first. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, so put a cork in it. <sighs> Sit still, all of you. You come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. How oh, bad's the storm? Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Say so nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. He might drown. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Move. I shouldn't have said anything. I should have left Brad in there. I know if you didn't say anything, uh, Brad comes out later. I'll tell you when. But I am playing this game over a different way, so... And there goes the ship from the beginning of the game.
Everyone's still alive. Of course. Things could have been quite different. <clears throat> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? What will it be? You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. Time to board the ghost ship. This is where I'm gonna save the game at. This is Trey Hardy here from the good old Killing Scene Squad. I'm going to go ahead and end the broadcast. Uh, it's been fun. Uh, we'll see you in the future on some more epic gaming adventures. Peace.